Yeah, that's right. Just talking with 43 year old Christopher Roberts for just a short time today. I learned that he's a hard worker who would do anything for his family and people in need. And now he's on the other side, relying on others for help. I looked at her, said, honey, I said, oh, something's not right. After dealing with headaches and falling spells, father of six, Christopher Roberts, went to the hospital and on New Year's Day, he was told he had a mass in his brain. Testing was done and it was determined it was a tumor and that he has stage four glioblastoma cancer. The glioblastoma I have is a type four aggressive glioblastoma that will never stop. They can only slow it down. They can only break it down in certain parts and limit some of its destruction. On January 5th, he had a surgery where doctors removed a large portion of the tumor. The next day, as he was recovering from that, Chris's always, oldest always son was in a car accident always. and died. That's been the hardest thing to get over is I feel like me and my son's scales were both weighed on the same day and the wrong ones tipped. We lost too much that week because I'm also facing the fact that I'm losing the fact that I'm a man that believes in being a man that takes care of his family. Chris just started chemotherapy and radiation this week and is not able to work for the time being. We've had things happen to us and we try to pay things for when we can and ask for help is not something I ever like to do. But right now getting the help that I have listed has been very difficult. And this taking some of the financial right burden off on, can help on Chris focus life. on fighting yeah, this cancer. This. I love my family. I still need to be here to support my family. And there's multiple fundraisers set up to help Chris and his family right now. You can find a link to those right now on our website. In studio, Maria DeBone, WXII 12 News.